Greetings, my fellow um, assassins to be. It is I, Philip Magnus, and I'm going on a quest. Have you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest? I'd recommend going oh, God. to the Nest if we get together. All right, apparently I'm not going to go on adventuring before at least I talk with this here mad scientist. Oh, so lovely to meet you here. What can I do for you? Apparently, um, upgrades and equipment are joy. Oh, I have a lot of coins, apparently. So some equipment is to be upgraded then. All right. I suppose I can take bone capacity. So far, so well. Sword crossing. Why not? Curvo's pistol upgrade. Crossbow reload. Combat sleep dart. Oh, that's that's very useful actually. Even though I prefer not to make my enemies sleep, rather, I prefer to kill them outright. Okay, it's okay. It is absolutely okay. A rune. Let's buy a rune. Was that the only one? Ah, oh, that's a pity. I was hoping to get another. No matter. Spring razor capacity or grenade capacity. Grenades are too loud. They are not the preferred weapon of an assassin. But I could take another bone charm capacity. And I think that was a wise choice. A just choice. Shall I take blink? The upgraded version? Yep. Thank you. Let's see. Now I can put two more. Ah, and I've got a lot of bone charms. Blast resistant. Fencer. Oh. Awesome. Breaking glass sound is moderately reduced. Moderate keyhole peeping magnification. Enemies miss more often with arrows and bolts. Swim speed, I don't care about it. Bread capacity in water. Raven. Oh, this one I think I will go with. Excellent! And now we can be on our way. Oh, let's see what the heart has to say about you. Ah. So you are just as corrupt as the rest of them. Even now, he visualizes the next invention. Sasha. I wish you could see it too. Awesome. Ready to go. Just give the signal. Absolutely. Please take me away from this place, filled with traitors and backstabbing curs. Distillery district. This one is long, so we will do it in parts. They're all long, actually, as far as I remember, anyway. It'll be a rough trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Why does that not surprise me? And they set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those and he ends up burned to a crisp. I'm in mood for crisps. Oh, not quite. She is more dangerous than she is nuts, I assure you. Samuel Beechworth went to sea to forget a hopeless life. He succeeded. I can kill him? Cool. Bone charm. Good. We're going to go and take it. Ah. Anything else you've got for me, my mechanical heart? Some from the phlegm of the river crests. Some. No, oh, that's reassuring. Samuel was once eager to hear Havok's stories of the sea. 
but perhaps the Admiral is not what he expected. Well, we agree on that, mate. Let's go. It's nearly midnight. But easy, damn it. Keep him in the boat. The canal's got enough shit in it as it is. Hey, what is it? I think that last one was moving. Oh well, he's not anymore. And we get back to what's important. Stabbing everyone. Whoops. I'm not a nice guy. At the end of the day, not one bit. I mean, look at my sword. My sword is amazing. Oh. That's awful. I'm a bit shaken right now. I saw some terrible things today. Nah, I'm an assassin. I'm not a thief. I'm not going to steal from the poor woman. Let's see what happens with you guys. Whoa. Two, three, heave. That was a bad idea. I'll find you. Stay for long. And now the third one. I'll find you, you hagfish. I'm sure you will, mate. In the afterlife. Ha 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 ha. Sorry, I'm getting a bit too giddy with the murder of it all. Oh! I do not know why I used my dart on you, but it somehow felt right. Alright. How do I move? No. Hmm. I thought that I could probably do this, but apparently I can do. Well, I will have to find another way. Bone drops keep falling on my head. Uh, uh, uh. Excellent. Down you go. And everywhere, everyone I look at, everyone is dead. Oh, did this just give me the answer? Yep. Aha! Alright. See? Easy as pie. Oh my. Here it is. Let's see what can this do? Swift Shadow. He moves forward slightly faster while in stealth mode. I think we can remove the white rat thing. White rats won't attack me. Lovely, but I prefer to be a Swift Shadow. Because it's... that much cooler. Oh, corpse. We should probably check it out into the water. No, into the water, I said. There you go. Bye, corpse. Pleasure knowing you. A book. She was shy in the month of hearts, hiding from my scented letters. Okay, it's probably not a song. A sun dappled cure for my loneliness. She was smiling in the month of rain, eating figs straight from the tree. A dream of sailing around the isles. She was wed in the month of clans. To her sailor cousin from Colorado, a shrill bird drilling at my chest. She was dying in the month of songs, struck by a disease from the east, a terrible kiss on her distant lips. Obviously she did not pick her kissing partners well enough. Did I eat those two rats? Yes I did. Deren plus... Juren? Uh, Juren? Something along the lines. Alright. We can now move on and go see Granny Rags. I have heard she's a 
horribly nice woman. Well. What joy. Hello. Oh. Oh yeah. She likes her magic tricks, doesn't she? Let's see. Oh, I see. So. If I'm getting this straight, then Pandicia has been utterly corrupted and destroyed basically by the Outlander's cult and powers. Be careful, Corvo. They call her Granny Rags. You wouldn't recognize her real name, or even the name of her family. But an emperor begged for her hand once, and rich young men fought each other for her favor. Can I fight for her favor as well? She is one sexy granny. And find them wanting. Then, she made a different choice. You're on your way to face the High Overseer. The leader of a great cult dedicated to loathing you. What will you do, I wonder? A punishment worse than death, of course. Let's see, what powers can I buy? Enhancements. I'm not quite... Oh! That, that is important. Unaware enemies who don't see you turn to ash as they die. All enemies turn to ash as they die. Awesome. Shadow kill causes the bodies of slain enemies to turn to ash if they were unaware of the time of their death. This is useful for stealth, since you can time your actions so that one killed enemy fades away before another turns and might see him. Further, you do not have to hide bodies if you have this enhancement, since they turn to ash and fade away. <laughs> Lovely. Sounds, sounds awful and evil. And absolutely enchanting. I'm not going to take dark vision for now. My vision is perfectly okay by being perfectly a light. Hello. Dear. Hello, dearie. Is that you, oh God. my dear husband? Ah, uh, sure. Let's go with that. Eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you I can see that. Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Aww. Here, birdie. Here. She's such a nice, oh, kind my, my, my. old witch. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. Oh. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. You oh, stick my. to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? But of course I will, Granny. Anything to make you happy. I think the little birdies are sad. Let us in, Granny. Let's leave it out. Good. Oh, that's just food. This is going to sell for a pretty coin. Let's pick our weapons of murder. Let's digging for eighty years. Must have found something. Oh, Jesus. What just happened? They were spitting fire at me. That is weird. All right. So probably I should kill them in other more horrifying ways. Let us in. 
There we go. Right, not perfect, but I should probably mention that I'm an assassin, not a hand-to-hand -hand combatant. Combatant, apologies. See, much I better. I told you the knives go on the left. They've always gone on the left. You never listen. Oh, sorry. Oh, my dear. I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. That's me. Brave, man. brave as one you can get. Granny has a birthday present for you. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm Oh. you. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? She's gonna oh, give me a bone rune. Even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Oh yes, I read about that. Aren't they just the luckiest? Oh, can I? Long ago, Granny Rags danced to the court. Yes, I will. And begged to marry her. Cool. Here it is. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I always I love gifts. I can these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. Oh yes. Is the worst of the lot. Absolutely you know the worst. Remember? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. I feel like she and knows I'm not her husband. Carved from the bones of a dead whale. Do you remember my doctor, dear? Dr. Galvani. Now there was a clever man. He's got all sorts of nasty rat guts and disease in his laboratory. Look at how rugged her clothes are. Some of that mess found its way into the Bottle Street gang's elixir still. Bad at teaching. Oh yes, See poisoning you? is... I'll find you another present just like the first. <laughs> All right, Granny. On Clavering Boulevard. Or at least he used to. Those were the days. Now run off. My baby birdies are hungry. So precious. I think she's feeding rats. Mm. Not birdies. Yep, pretty sure that's the case. You'll have to go or they won't come. Oh yes, not at all cre too creepy. Oh, I can now bend time. Shall I cast... Hmm, what shall I take? Bloodthirsty. Brutal melee fatalities. I've never done that. All right, I'll think in that, and before I will go get whatever Granny needs, whatever Granny wants, of course. This is the whiskey distillery in which we will, at one point or another, Because you know we have to check you over. And there's an inspection fee. To the void with Bottle Street and to the void with you. Hmm? Ah. 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 Lol. Yep, just me. Hello. I owe you, brother. I won't ask about the Sure you do, brother. I wouldn't want my face seen either pulling a stunt like that. You know oh, that's just me. I'll return the favor. Come by Griff's shop. That's my business. And where would that well, be? It was at one time, but now I'm reduced to scavenging things from here and there as the city dies. If you need anything, I wouldn't mind trading for a little money. Maybe I'll keep that in mind. Over and everything will go back to normal. But until then, it's scavenging for me. Good old Gruff. Wanna Griff. Look at some of the things I found. Good prices, I swear. No, oh, so that's your shop. You're not going anywhere. All right. Rewire tool, Suckle of Silixirs, Blueprint, Lens Magnification, and Suckle's Formula, which is the formula for Suckle's Health Elixir. 
Piero can use this to distill a liquid that restores health and protects against the rat plague. I think that's actually fairly important. And when I get the 200 coins I need, I should come back and buy the lens magnification blueprint. Huh? I suppose. Oh, I'm hearing something. I will be glad to rest. How do I get up there? All right. Let's see. Anything here? No. Timeless, a g timeless children's rhymes, a gaffer's tale, hemlock poison, delicious. Oh, processed well oil. You really shouldn't leave your valuables sitting on the floor, guys. Guys, no, oh. they seem to be dead. Well, guys. Well, that sounds absolutely l great, really. I should probably hide his body. This district is now considered a highly infected area. Residents are to be escorted to adjacent neighborhoods or delivered for immediate deportation to the flooded district. Remain in position until qualified personnel have completed the removal of infected bodies. Uh-oh. Anyone else? No? That's okay with me. Alright. So, how do I do this? Can't reach the second floor, but I can reach the first. Yes, I want to go to Dr. Galvani's offices. Thank you very much. All right, we are in the offices. Yeah, I expected as much. At least there is delicious bread. Right, we've got a pouch with coins, not too many coins, but an acceptable amount. Oh, guns. I think this will sell well. Should I? Do I have to break this in order to get... Hmm, weird. I don't want to cause the sound. Anything here? I know I'm looking in weird places. Don't judge me. Hmm, I do not know this combination. Nor can I find anything to tell me what it is. All right. Have to be a ninja. Uh oh. 
suppose I may as well kill you, mate. Here. Have some food. We wouldn't want the plague to die away now, would we? <laughs> No, no, move along, move along. Trust me, you... Good girl, that's a smart servant. Oh. Didn't I take the key, though? Dear Mrs. Benton, when cleaning my study, I... Ask that you constrain your efforts strictly to the floors. Please, at all costs, refrain from attempting to clean or arrange my bookshelf. In fact, it would be best to keep away from it altogether. Otherwise, I'll have to reconsider the terms of your employment. Regards, Dr. Galvani. P.S. Since I'll be out of the city for a few days, I've left next week's pay as well. The bank was closed, so I'm afraid it's your short by half. You can count on me for the remainder next week, of course. What a correct, good, kind person, man. Uh, this looks interesting. Oh, bull rat fetus. Mmm, delicious. I probably just spread a bit of the plague on myself. Never mind. Galvani, the latest case showed that I, within a week, containing all the components you need, be careful with the white phosphorus. Can have you getting fossy jaw like the tanners at the edge of the city, poor bastards. Sorry you have to practice in secret. The vivisectionist should be celebrated, revered even. Getting up rats should be done in the town square with a crowd of eager students taking notes, not in some dirty little secret room hidden behind a wall of books. Anyway, lucky for you to have an old friend who never left the academy. Let me know what else you need, but remember, it might be a month before I can put together another shipment. Yours in knowledge, Artemis Moore, procurement clerk and provisioner, Academy of Natural Philosophy, South Wing. P.S. Next time you're nearby, go in for an afternoon. We've stayed fairly insulated from the plague since so few come and go here. And we've got quite a stock of Tivian brandy. Well, I know where he went. The brandy drinking bastard. So many fetuses! The rat plague. I imagine it says nothing good at all. The rodents themselves seem immune to the plague, but they pass it readily amongst themselves and amongst humans. Which, let's face it, is unpre unpleasant. The Leviathan Sorrow. Another book. Oh, a circle of s health elixir. So much more. Let's play this. Plague rat is distinct. Ordinary rat, but in what respect? Its size and the coarseness of its fur, and I believe in intelligence. Although the experiments there are not complete, the Coriander Zoological Survey describes only the ordinary rat, which means plague rats have only been here for five or seven years at most. This was not a gradual migration. Could they have been introduced on purpose? Perhaps by a foreign power? Perhaps by a witch who has been to an ancient evil continent. Ew. Did I just take the insides of this rat? Yes, yes I did. Do not question it. So a capacity in the month of nets. Unpleasant. I've been asked to tell the problem, so here it, here it is. It's been every year that we work like men gone mad during the month of nets. I don't hardly see my family. It's bad enough that the work works is clogged with trash from the catch pieces of crates and nets, but the water smells of hackfish guts too. We got to get it done before the month of rain, or you know what. And it ain't like we get help from those pricks in civil engineering either. 
Been at this job for nigh on 28 years, and I'm nazi in one of them. Come below, except in measure will it, will it hold when they go potting up on their fancy new bridges. So these last three years been the worst, mate, and here's why. Is a river crossed, moved into the works. We hear a man head yell and scream, like he's burning up. And we all climb up fast, no other choice. Not as interesting as I had hoped, honestly. Oh yeah, this is at all not too creepy. Not creepy at all, right? Seriously, you have this, a bust of the spy master, or should I call him Lord Protector? No, I think not. Spy master for life. Why am I so cold? Because you're a heart. Well, I do believe I did what I came to do. True, I did not get whatever I was supposed to get in order to enter that safe, to unlock that safe, I mean. Don't worry. I'll do it on my own time. I won't waste yours. Ah. Really, how do I... go inside? Any stairs? Oh, excellent. Here we have it. Two out of five found. Excellent, excellent news indeed. And hey, we even managed to get a map. Bone charms, a sailor's blessing, they say. The carving itself is a practice from long back, passed from father to son, old man, salt, greenhorn, still getting his sea legs beneath him. In the old times, men cut into the tusks of ice and of ice seals and into the arm long fangs of bears that roamed the isles north of Tivia. Once the world trade began, the practitioners went to engraving the bones of those great beasts, generating charms that sing in the night and grant some small boon to a man's vigor or defense against pregnancy. Defense against pregnancy all the way. All right, let's Oh, we have to poison the whiskey as well, I see. Well, I think this has gone on long enough, honestly. So, we're going to start with the Dunwall Whiskey Distillery next time. Thank you guys for watching once again, or rather, one guy and myself. And I hope to see you next time. One gal and myself. Hey, bye!